Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm going to be sharing a messy house attack, getting all the things done on my to-do list like deep cleaning our rugs, organizing, decluttering, cleaning out a room for Jake Wynn, pulling out appliances, to moving furniture to deep clean our floors, and my absolute favorite, transforming areas in our home for the fall season. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy videos like this one, I would love to have you join my YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. I wanted to start in our laundry room because if you guys remember the last time I shared a cleaning video like this I also shared our laundry routine along with deep cleaning and decluttering the back of our house so today I'm going to be doing the same in the front of our house to finish majority if not everything else I want to start on the top area of our laundry room you guys because it has been a long time since I've actually deep cleaned our washer and dryer of course I've actually ran like a tub clean on it however I haven't actually gone in and cleaned the outside of the washer the areas that the tub clean can't get so today that's what we're going to be focusing on especially since we don't have a lot of laundry traffic today We had about two loads of laundry that we had to wash this day, so while one machine was going, I just decided to get started with cleaning the other machine. Today I also wanted to go ahead and clear all of my hair products and things out of this beauty room. You guys, we were actually going to turn this into a beauty room. However, Jaquin is working from home now, so we're not going to turn this into a beauty room because I want him to be comfortable during this time. So we're going to turn this into an office for him, and I'm just going to go ahead and get my things out of here, and we'll organize that in our room, but that's just for another video on a different day. However, we're going to get everything cleared out of here, and I'm so excited and so ready to get his room done once we get the fall things together.
Once the dishes were done, not much needed to be done besides a quick wipe down. I did just get a new glass spray bottle. It's from Grove, but I got it from the section that they have at Target some months back. I really do love the sleeve that's on it because for one, it is one of my favorite colors, London's 2. And then for two, I also get to use my Thieves Cleaner in this spray bottle. And y'all know that that is my favorite cleaner to use. Now I just want to take a moment to just organize what we have from our laundry room area. I wanted to do this in front of Jaquen because we had so many different things that was actually for Jaquen that we had just thrown into the laundry area. So I challenged him to try to keep as much stuff as he could that he thought could fit into the smallest bin that we had because he couldn't get up while he was working. So I just went ahead and threw as much stuff as I could away y'all and he kept what you know he thought could fit into the smallest bin it did end up working out and i was super excited for him because i was able to really get rid of everything that was in there that we had that held no value to us for real Once Jacqueline was done with work, I wanted to start deep cleaning this area. I will be transforming this area and other areas in our home later. So I just wanted to start by first tackling the neglected areas to show some love, you guys, before adding the love, the decor. So first I'm going to be tackling the chairs. I'm also going to tackle our bar stools, our rug, you guys, and then I'm also going to deep clean our floors. Now that I'm on the subject of our chairs, you guys, I do not think I have ever deep cleaned Actually, yes, I have. I have spot cleaned them with the brush, but not with my spot cleaner. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, and I am super excited. Whenever I was deep cleaning our dining room, I wanted to go ahead and completely remove our rug first after I, you know, got done cleaning it because I wanted to really focus on our floor. I will be deep cleaning our dining room rug later, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it so it's easier.
always get so many questions about this dining room mirror, you guys. And this actually came from one of my favorite decor superstores, the at home decor superstore. And I cannot remember how much it actually cost. However, I do remember, you guys, that it was originally supposed to be so much money. And I remember going up there to the cashier and saying, hey, there's something wrong with it. Knowing good darn well, you could not tell what was going on with this mirror, but they ended up giving me like a huge discount, so I paid a little bit to nothing for it. But yeah, you guys, I got it from the at home decor superstore. Today I also pushed myself to organize our cabinet in our dining room, you guys. It is full of so many random things. Well, not really random because we do use these things often. Like I keep all of my thieves cleaner and products in here. We keep the animals things in here and we also keep our first aid kit. You guys see what I'm saying. However, in the future, I am looking towards keeping essential things in here. Like London and I, we love having tea parties. So I want to keep all of our accessories in here, party accessories and guest accessories. So that's what I'm cleaning this out for. So once we had the clothes in the dryer and the washer was completely empty, I took full advantage of this and I hopped right on in to deep clean our washer y'all. It was so much that needed to be done and I could not go another day with looking at how dirty this was. It wasn't the fact that our washer was dirty you guys, it's the fact that at the top of our washer there's like a ring and it moves around so the tub clean cannot reach that part and a lot of dirt and debris and things like that just build up at the top of our washer you guys and I have to go in and deep clean it every so often because it does get disgusting however pulling out my washer and dryer and doing things like this I do love to tackle things like this at least once a month because we have animals y'all listen we have two turtles a cat Two cats actually and a dog and I have three kids as you guys can see there is so much that goes on in our home so I always have to pull out all of our appliances and things like that to clean underneath them just so I can have a peace of mind and knowing that everything is clean in our home.
To clean our washer today, you guys, I had to use my good old toothpick and towel system because I do have a Bissell Power Shot steamer, but I don't know what happened, y'all. I actually burnt myself pretty, pretty bad. I started crying because I burnt myself pretty bad. I don't know what happened to it. It just, it wasn't working, so I had to use the good old-fashioned toothpick and cotton swabs, you know what I mean, and the towel. However, I did get it clean, clean, but it would have been a lot easier if I would have been able to use my Bissell Power Shot steamer. I'm thinking you were made for me Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the before and after of this washer because I thought it looked pretty good, you know, I was pretty happy with the results. Right now I'm just going in and just, I'm acting like I'm doing a regular wash, you guys, but this washer doesn't have any clothes in it. And I'm just running the tub clean so we can go ahead and get the inside of it clean too. Okay, you guys, so right now I am just removing the last bit of my hair products, hair care things, everything, you guys, that I had to make my beauty room come to life. Well, not everything, not the decor, but I am moving that to my room, which I will be sharing a haul in a different video of all of my hair products. If you guys would like to see that, comment down below. But right now I'm going to go ahead and start deep cleaning our chairs. I'm just going to go ahead and use our Bissell Spot Clean Pro to go ahead and get this done. I shared that with you guys in my living room deep clean video. I absolutely love this thing. I honestly give it a 10 out of a 10.
we have two chairs that aren't necessarily ruined but they do have some new unique qualities about them like my first ever heat press burn from making my first shirt on my Cricut machine you guys and then we also got this chair is some washable paint that actually didn't even come out as well as it said it would so you know that kind of hurt but as I said they are just unique qualities that are able to get covered up with the kids cushion covers
So in the mix of my floor routine, I just want to go ahead and pull out both our refrigerator and our stove, you guys. This is something that I love to do at least once or twice a month, you guys. So much food and debris, dirt, all of that gets caught up underneath these things, especially whenever we are cooking or the kids are helping us cook or things are on top of the fridge and they fall behind or underneath. So I just like to pull these things out, get the area clean, and it just gives me a peace of mind in knowing that every single square inch of our home is clean and the floors are deep clean. It makes me feel good on the inside, you guys. I think the only area that I didn't clean was inside of our pantry, and trust me, that will happen this week. So now that we have made it to the living room, you guys, first off, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video up until now. And if you are here, I would love it if you could just drop a heart down in the comments and let me know you are here. Recently, I have deep cleaned our living room, so I don't necessarily need to deep clean it here. But I do need to get this area clean and organized because our fall decor has been sitting on, on top of our TV stand since I filmed my fall haul. If you haven't checked that video out, I would love it if you check that video out and let me know what you thought because I will be filming another haul of some sort here pretty soon. With that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some fall decor out and just transform our living room with some fall vibes. Never thought I'd meet someone like you. You know you are the reason. The reason why I feel like I can fly. Think about your day and night. I love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are. Like 
You guys, we have so many different things for fall and it made me so happy. Just collecting things over the years and also saving up to get new fall decor and being able to do this, it made me so happy. Because as I said to you guys in my fall haul, fall is my favorite season of the year and I've always wanted to decorate our whole entire house for fall. So now that we have a lot of decor to play with and we can move a lot of different things around in our house to make it feel like fall in each room, I'm just excited to go ahead and get the process started. Once I added decor to the fireplace and the mantle, I just went ahead and moved on to folding up the laundry. It had me super excited and super pumped. I just wanted to go ahead and get the rest of the cleaning done before I added anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold up this laundry. If you guys would like to see more of our laundry clips, I do have an hour long laundry motivational video that includes cleaning, organizing, and laundry motivation, of course, that you guys can check out. I'll have it listed down in my description box.
So my goal for the coffee table was just to add a few simple touches to really bring it to life, but I couldn't really find the perfect things to go together. So whenever my mama came down to visit, she did go ahead and give me a few things, you guys, and I'll share that with you guys at the end of the video, but it just really brought this whole coffee table together, which the coffee table, she gave that to me too, and it just made me so happy. So you guys, I'm going to be honest, this was about 1 o'clock in the morning, as you guys probably heard it earlier in the video. My mom did come to visit and she brought my brothers and my cousin, y'all. So we sat and we visited for a long, long time and it was about 1 o'clock in the morning whenever I got back to cleaning. So I stuck it out, went ahead, deep cleaned the rug, added the rest of the fall decor, and y'all, I was pumped. I was excited. So let me know if you guys are enjoying the video.
Okay guys, so the very last thing for me to do was to dump out the water from each tank. We had the spot cleaner, which is what I'm holding up, and then we also have the rug cleaner. And you guys, let me just tell y'all, the water was so disgusting. I did not want to let this sit overnight because I knew it would smell. So I went ahead and got this rinsed out good, and then I just felt so good at the end of the night whenever I went to bed. However, I did want to let you guys know that I do deep clean our sink whenever I pour filthy water into the sink like this. I do it each and every time. However, it was about 2.45 in the morning, and I didn't realize my camera was dead, so I didn't get the clip of me deep cleaning the sink. However, it did get done, trust me. Alrighty, you guys, that is the end of today's messy house attack plus fall transformation. I really hope this video motivated you guys to get up and clean along with me as well as some fall inspiration. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! Thank you.